Indian National Congress had come into existence in the year 1885. That is why it is the oldest political party in India which had negotiated a long order journey of 135 years. The formation of Indian National Congress was not a sudden historical accident, rather the birth of Indian National Congress was an objective necessity which even recognized by all the nationalist leaders in our country. India certainly had a geographical expression, but India at the time was subjugated by the British colonialists. And the sense of nationalism was conspicuously absent in the minds of the common people. That is why a new awakening of the political consciousness was required, which was an imperative need to wage any freedom struggle against the colonial power. And there lies the success of the Congress Party, which was born with an objective to consolidate the national sentiment of the common people of India so that the people could be turned into historical subjects. Organized mass movement cannot be possible without having a scientific ideological moorings which had been provided by the nationalist leaders of Congress party. Today, we are enjoying the freedom, but the fact is, we are to pay our tribute to those nationalist leaders who had, against all adversities, fought for the freedom of our country. 1885, the day of Congress party's emergence in the freedom of our country. That is why Congress is synonymous with the freedom of our country. Congress is synonymous with the democracy. Congress is synonymous with the civil liberties. Congress believed in the civilizational values of our country. Since the very beginning, we preached for the culture of democracy and civil liberties. India is a young nation, but an oldest civilization, which believes in the plurality of our culture. India an Indian civilization is an unending celebration of human plurality. We always encourage the culture of dissent, the culture of dissent, the culture of dissidence, the culture of plurality on the belief that plurality 
accommodates descent and the descent embodies the divergence of views that is why today we have to take a pledge that our founding fathers those the pioneers of our freedom struggles who had taught us the culture of democracy and civil liberties should be sustained should be maintained at any cost long live congress long live india